welcome back to the... I was gonna say the Monkey Queen number, that's my gaming channel intro. Not this one. So, yeah. But anyways, um, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be doing a little bit different of a video today. It's gonna be, like, a story time slash wig review thing, I guess. Um, it is the day after Thanksgiving when I'm filming this, so... Yeah, I do apologize for any background noise. Well, background. It's from upstairs. Yeah, so, um, basically, I... I... I'll start a story. Concise. I was going... I was looking online for a wig to dye... To, a blue wig. This one. To be able to dye the top part for a cosplay that I have coming up. That, um... I'll... Or a cost test. That I'll be doing a week from now, a little more than that, uh, around the first couple of days in December, it being the 23rd, around a week. Yeah. So I found this wig in a cosplay yard sale group on Facebook. And um, when I did find this wig, I asked the person how much it was, and they posted later saying, that they were making their own cosplay sale group on Facebook, and just because this person's cool, I'm gonna like put the full say the full name. It was um, costume inventory reduction sale, is what they called it, and they were selling this wig along with all the rest of the wigs they had. They were selling them all together, and they decided to auction them off because only one person besides me had shown interest in any of the wigs. So they were auctioning all of them off together and they started at $20 and the bidding increments being 50 cents. I don't know what that shadow is, but okay. Anyways, um, they had it open for two days and I went four minutes before it closed and bid again, which only three people had bid before me. So it was only at $21, so when I bid it was $21.50. And I ended up winning. So I ended up getting 8 wigs, 5 of the 8 being long wigs, for $21.50, including shipping. With PayPal fee from sending them the money, it ended up being $22. But still, $22 for 8 wigs, over half of them being long wigs, which $22 is normally what you pay for a good long wig. And even then, it, there's a 50-50 chance at that price of it being a shitty long wig. That, that's pretty good. But yeah, so I figured we'd just go through them right now, because half of them I don't know what they are. But yeah, like I said, there's this one, which is the one I'm going to dye. But it's really nice as it is, so if you guys have any suggestions for something I can cost test with it before I dye it, and you see this before the beginning of December of 2018, then go ahead and leave a comment, and I may do it, and if I do, I'll let you know. Anyways, the next one is this brown wig. I don't know what. It's, um... All of these need brushed out and washed, of course. That's how it is whenever you buy a wig. Yeah, it goes, it goes this way. It's a... Sort of a A-line bob, dark brown wig. I could probably, um, Udadaka from My Hero Academia is one person that I can think of for this wig, possibly. But I don't know. Um, with a lot of these wigs, I don't really have any characters specifically in mind for them. So if you have any suggestions for any of these wigs, go ahead and comment those as well. I have ideas for a couple of them, like the blue one. When I first got these wigs, I put a poll out, or a question out on my Instagram of people to cosplay with it. So I already have a couple suggestions from that, like, um, CL Phantom Hive, Out, Ayoma, I think his name was, from Beyblade, and a couple others. Um, Ayato? Is that his name? Toka's brother from Tokyo Ghoul. 
And yeah, I got told Ida from my hero, but I don't particularly have any interest in cosplaying Ida. He's a great character, but yeah. Anyways, this next wig is a curly brown one with, I don't know what it was for, but it needs a lot of help, which is what happens anytime you ship a long, get a long wig secondhand, most usually. But yeah, I'll be brushing that one out and taking care of it. I may dye this white streak in it to make it just all one color. I don't know yet. We'll see. But yeah. It's, it's a fairly long brown wig that I need to fix up a little. It has a tiny little hair tie in it for some reason. Anyways, that's a thing. All these wigs were in bags when they came, which is a good thing because from, I'll show you once I've gone through them all, but from the look of the box it looks like it either fell off the truck or the truck tipped or something while it was shipping here, which was why it got delayed by like four days. It got here Tuesday of this week when it was supposed to be here. Friday of last week. That was its estimated delivery date. And it got here Tuesday of this week. Um, next is a short curly black wig. Which is very short, obviously, for... It, it's very short. Um, I do have a couple ideas for somebody to cosplay with this. I'm not sure, though. So, yeah. If you have any suggestions for this as well, comments, 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 comments. But yeah, I'm trying to go through these a little bit faster because when I did this before, I rambled and I rambled and I rambled. And the video ended up being 20 minutes. So yeah. Um, next, I know what this wig was for, but it is a long green wig that's actually in good, very good condition. Unlike the super curly wig, it doesn't need too much work. But yeah, I have a idea of a cause test to do of this with this, but like, once again, always open to suggestions. I just realized with um, the hat and the wig like this, I kind of look like a version of Buttercup from Powerpuff Girls. Plan? Maybe? We'll see. I wouldn't be opposed to it. Bubbles. Bubbles. Buttercup is great, but I need, I would need, not need, but I would want other people to cosplay with me. Do the trio, you know? Or, um, whatever the male version of Bubbles is. Bubbles. The male version of Buttercup is, I can't remember his name, it's like Butch or something. But it's the, the browdy rough boy one. And then this one is... It needs a lot of care, too. But it's a wig that was used... That was meant for Anna from Frozen. I think that's how you say her name. I've watched Frozen a couple times. I don't really care much for the characters. It's all too much. Yeah. I probably won't be using it for Anna. That's who it was meant for. If I use it at all, I hope it probably won't be for Anna. Yeah. There's that wig. Um. No, my pile of wigs is falling over. The reason I'm doing this, even though there's noise, is because I've been wanting to, um, do this video for the past couple of days. But it's been loud and noisy and busy and stuff all days, but I want to get this done and have like at least a week before um, I end up dying this for you to be able to put comments and give suggestions and stuff. But yeah. I'm also going to be shooting a different video later today that's a special one that I don't know if it'll ever happen again after today. Oh god. Now this one genuinely scares me because I don't know how to fix it. I do have an idea of what to use it for though. 
for these shoes a little bit of a tour. Yeah. It's a mm, kind of longish curly brown leg. Dark brown. It looks black on camera, but it's... I guess you could call it natural black. Because it's like a dark, dark brown. Yeah, that's a that's another one. Um, most of these ones, I have no idea what to use them for. I made Frankenstein bits of one wig on to another wig and do a cost test of a character I really want to do. I'm not going to say what character, but a character. So yeah, that may be a thing that happens. But yeah, I think we have like one more wig. It looks like there's six there in front of me, and this is the seventh one that I'm holding. Yeah, there's one more. And then I'll show you guys the box they all came in. This one's just a long, a long black brown wig. It's like black, but it has a little bit of red tint to the top, at least. Yeah. This one's a nice condition as well. But yeah, that was the last one that I have got for now. Well, if you have any suggestions for this wig, put it in the comments. Yeah, I'm gonna be dyeing that, the top half of this black though, in a little over a week, I'd say. Like I said, the first couple days in December. So yeah, this is the one side of the box, which doesn't look too bad. This is why I think it fell off the truck or something. Because it has oil stains and it looks like it got run over here by like a bike or something. And just it's smushed a little bit. That's why I think it may have fallen off the truck or something. Which is why it was delayed. Yeah. Just as, as I'm finishing this up, I'm putting the wigs back in the box. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for any of these wigs, please leave them in the comments below because there's like three that I have any idea of what I'm gonna do with them. Yeah. I don't know what this wig look is, but I'm not opposed to it. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'll be filming another video later that, that will be up next week. So look forward to that. Hope you enjoyed. Love you all. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.